A modern chariot drive quickly transports her to Livorno, and she can hardly wait to see all the wonderful faces and places in store for her. Italian friends have arranged not only a complete program, but also a handsome escort, Corrado Romei, who alas is late. Traffic problems are the same the world over, and no one is able to escape them. So Valerie goes off to change, and while she does this, through the mad Pisa rush, Corrado is trying, as only an Italian can, to make up for lost time. And he's arrived to face the wrath of his friends. Apologies all round, but then one cannot remain angry long, for the sound of the birds and the scent of mimosa, lively conversation and refreshing drinks have made this a far from unpleasant wait. And so, in no time at all, our young couple are off on the first link in a chain of beautiful things to come. First, to the top of one of the surrounding hills to view the ancient and historic city of Livorno, where four or five hundred years ago, during the powerful rule of the Medici family, Great care was taken to fortify the city against warring invaders. Since 1284, Livorno, or Leghorn as we know it, has been burned to the ground six times in its long and troubled history. When the Medici fortifications were complete, a formidable defensive belt stretched round Leghorn so tightly that it suffocated any plans for expansion and commercial progress. Constantly harassed by the once powerful Pisa, with wars, victories and treachery as her main diet, Leghorn has survived triumphantly to achieve peace and prosperity for her people. And a return downhill back into a town of picturesque market stalls, wide avenues and modern hotels, the inevitable mixture of old and new, and shops filled to capacity, an endless source of temptation. market square there are stalls of every size and description where you can buy anything and everything or nothing at all. 
but first from Corrado, beautiful flowers for a beautiful lady before the rest of the expedition gets underway. Large balloon-like chrysanthemums of every shade and colour blend naturally with the surrounding galaxy. Just look around for any bargains that may catch your fancy. It's unlikely you'll be able to resist the market. And who knows, maybe you'll be lucky and get the better of a local merchant. Maybe. picturesque and different type of shopping centre is situated under a colonnade of graceful arches where the rays of the sun cast light and shadow on the wide pavements. There can be no doubt in anyone's mind that traffic problems are the same everywhere, with parking meters or without, and all the old arguments, excuses and pleas of urgent business are to no more avail here than anywhere else. You are fined just the same, in the politest manner, of course. A dark cloud had momentarily cast its shadow, though only a very small one, and so to make life a little sweeter, a visit to the confectioners is called for. Leghorn abounds with window displays such as this. Traditional chocolate cakes with glacé cherries and other fruit, chocolate biscuits, chocolate fudge, chocolates in decorative boxes, and sweets of every description. But an occasion not so sweet is facing our couple on their return. This time, however, female guile takes the initiative. A slight advantage, one might say, is taken of man's chivalry, and the situation is saved. Well, in similar circumstances, wouldn't any young lady do the same? No one can leave Leghorn without seeing the Città dei Quattro Mori, the monument to the four moors. The statue was completed in 1617 and it symbolizes the victories of the Medici over the barbarian Saracens who pirated its coast. The monument was cast in bronze and shows with extraordinary vividness the four Moors straining at their chains of bondage with every muscle and sinew in their bodies. And though awkwardly positioned, there's one point from which all noses can be seen at one time. The Medici rulers fortified this city in order to preserve its neutrality, and the Fortezza Vecchia is visible evidence that centuries ago its port and harbours were considered a safe haven. Nowadays it's a prosperous port, with unhampered movement for the navigators and the ships of the world. As for our young couple, a second link is forged in the chain of their travels. A cool dip in the irresistible waters of the Mediterranean where rock formations produce distinct stepping stones into the blue inviting sea. And why turn down a suggestion of a swim before lunch? And after the moment of fun, a moment of romance before proceeding along the coast to Luxurious Castiglioncello.